assalamu alaikum everybody how are you all today we are going to talk about antidepressant drugs and specifically we are going to talk about tcas which is tricyclic antidepressants uh before we start up again um like i said in for for in first few lectures of mine you see depression um is very famous these days right um even a child is using the word depression very commonly but actually depression is not the condition which we are um, thinking it is okay when we talk about depression we have seen the pet scans of brain previously in my uh, lectures and we have seen that uh, a, a a pet scan of a depressed person is telling us that there is no activity it means that the person is not thinking whatever help is happening in the surrounding so the person would just let it happen right okay uh, in the previous lecture we also talked about that ssris is a drug of choice these days you know to treat depression and uh, tcas and other classes of drugs are less commonly taken because of the adverse effects uh they offer right i have attached this quranic verse on the screen for you all so you see toys it is reassured that after every difficulty there is relief right imagine allah taala is reassuring toys in quran that uh after a hardship there would be release relief after hardship there would be a relief it means that after hardship there has to be a relief and there will be a relief it's just that you have to believe in allah and you have to let the time uh, he, uh pass on and if if there are some actions required and maybe you can do something so by trusting allah you will keep on uh, making action plans and uh, just keep on saying inshallah and just keep on uh, you know having a faith that allah taala will inshallah taala help you to achieve the goals right and if you can just can't do anything about it for example we lost if we lost a loved ones right or there's some uh, crisis that's going on so you see it has happened and uh, the things we ha we have lo lost our relatives right so it was uh, inevitable right it it was meant to happen and uh, uh, this is life okay life life is part of gaining and losing and eventually uh, you came here alone and you'll go from here alone right okay i have also attached some quotations here which i thought will boost up your mood that is sometimes life will kick you around but sooner or later you realize you're not just a survivor you're a warrior and you're stronger than any thing life throws your way so no need to take antidepressants as soon as you think you are um, experiencing a phase of depression maybe it is um, a minor anxiety or stress which you are self diagnosing it to be a clinical depression if you think somebody has cl clinical depression so you should go and get yourself tested um taking the life away taking your life on away on your own this is this is you know not a solution okay so you know great things are coming when everything seems to be going wrong all the energy is clearing out for new energy to enter so be patient just the uh entire gist of dealing with anxiety and stress is this that you just have to be patient uh you have to be calm and you have to adopt uh basically a hedgehog Uh, theory you know what does hedgehog do whenever they feel that something is going to harm them they just curl, curl themselves up and they hide themselves and they stay quiet um till the moment is gone and once the particular time period is gone and when they will curl up themselves back so they would see that they're no more in stress or in danger situation right so just adopt some of these practices coming up back here today we are going to talk about tcas we have already talked about ssris uh, again the pet scan which i want to which i want to make you see 
in every class of mine so that you know what is the difference between a depressed person and non-depressed person. A depressed person will not respond to you. If you tell the person that, okay, I am going to order you a favorite meal of yours. So they would say, okay, I don't care. And if you would tell them that uh, if, if you don't like anything to eat, okay, I'm going to order that for you. The person won't respond to you at all, okay? Uh, because it's not the priority. The person is depressed now, the brain activity is no more, right? Okay, again, I've just, I just passed through these slides so that these are going through your eyes again and again. You know how much I love chemistry. So you should know these are structure. You should know the catechol rings and all that, okay? All right. So talking about TCS again, I have placed the mnemonic for you so that it's easier for you to memorize. So I am depressed, close, nor adrenaline door. By the way, uh, you can also create your own mnemonics, okay? These are just the random mnemonics which I pick up, right? Uh, but I tell you, when I was a student, I used to pick up every first alphabet, okay? And I used to form um, a, a word, all right? And of every class of drug, there was a word. For example, for TCA, there used to be a, a word, right? So just try to develop such mnemonic of your own. So you see, when you think about something and you develop ways to deal with it, so you remember that thing forever. So talk about the TCA drugs, it includes imipramine, amitriptyline, desipramine, um, clomipramine, nortriptyline, and then doxepine. Uh, here, as, as you have seen that every, this is ending with amine, 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 right? So basically these TCAs are actually there are two subcategories of it, okay? This is tertiary amines and then secondary amines, okay? There are two categories. Uh, by the way, when I talk about tricyclic antidepressant, um, the word tricyclic is actually, uh, it, it's, it came from, from their chemical structure. You see, when you talk about tri, it means three and cyclic means that uh, it has three cycles, okay? So basically it's a three uh, cyclic ring, okay? It's not five carbon ring. I'm just making it for your understanding, okay? I think it's six carbon ring, okay? So just get it and just see its image uh, through Google, okay? All right. So when we talk about tertiary, I mean, it is very much important that you see the drugs which I've highlighted, right? Uh, because you see, we have... Uh, trimipramine uh, and it has very less activity for norepinephrine and it has almost no activity for serotonin, right? And when we talk about doxepine, so here it has very few activity for norepinephrine and has some activity for uh, serotonin, right? Okay, uh, by the way, uh, when we talk about this, I'm sure by looking at the slide, you must be able to understand that how TCAs are working, they are non-specifically blocking serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake, right? Guys, in the previous class, we talked about how exactly selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are blocking the serotonin receptors reuptake and all that, right? Now, this TCA has actually a mechanism by which it is blocking five things, okay? Five things at a moment. You take TCA and five things would be blocked. Out of them, two are serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake, okay? And here is a chart. And I think you must remember the maximum stuff uh, that you can take from this slide. That is, uh, desipramine has zero activity for serotonin. Timipramine has zero activity for serotonin reuptake, right? And then we have protiptyline again has zero, right? And this classification is important for exam. Again, um, the slide which we discussed yesterday, that tryptophan, and then um, serotonin is produced and we are blocking this cert, that is uh, serotonin reuptake transporter, right? Okay, and then we have today, we'll talk about tyrosine also, uh, which is actually a precursor for production of norepinephrine. You see 
how exactly tyrosine is uh, getting in, into the nef, uh, into the neuron and then uh, this dopa is there which is being converted into dopamine and then this dopamine is being converted into norepinephrine within the vesicle and then this is released right okay when it is released so you see not uh, this neuronal reuptake transporter is blocked but along with that uh, you would see wait a minute but along with that you would see that muscarinic and ad alpha adrenergic receptors are also blocked by it okay so that's how it's going to do its action right so it's going to block the muscarinic receptors and it's going to block the adrenergic receptors along with the reuptake transporters okay uh, coming up to like we discussed that day about the food sources that are best in tryptophan right so today we'll talk about the tyrosine food uh, rich foods right so it has spirulina and then we have uh, soya based items soya beans and then we have eggs cheese salmon turkey so uh, after looking at these slides i have concluded that if somebody has to be happy if they plan to be happy so you see, you compare these two slides and then you choose what should be your go-to ingredients. So I'm definitely introducing in my diet some spirulina and uh, some fish, some cheese, and cheese always, of course, makes everybody happy, right? And then salmon and then turkey, because these, these especially foods, they are rich in both. So it means that if I'm taking in these, the, the, uh, this kind of food, so it will uh, boost uh, production of serotonin and dopamine in my body, which is a good thing for me, right? Okay. Then we have mechanism of action. Uh, we have already talked about it. That you see, it has uh, two kinds of mechanism of action. The first thing is they will inhibit the reuptake. And then the second is this, that they will block the receptors, right? Okay, uh, now when we talk about uh, when they will reuptake, as I have shown you the images, okay, so TCS and amoxapine are potent inhibitors of neuronal, um, neur neuronal reuptake of norepinephrine and serotonin into presynaptic nerve terminal. So at therapeutic concentration, they do not block dopamine transporters. By blocking the major route of neurotransmitter removal, uh, the TCA causes increased concentration of monoamines in the synaptic cleft, ultimately resulting in antidepressant effects. Uh, Meprotiline and desipramine are relatively selective inhibitors of norepinephrine re reuptake. Then we have uh, the other mechanism of action that is blockage of receptors. So it, it blocks uh, serto serotogenic, alpha adrenergic, histaminic and muscarinic receptors. It is not known if any of these actions produce TCA's therapeutic benefit. However, actions at these receptors are likely responsible for many of the adverse effects of the TCA's. So you see that they remember, I told you that SSRIs have replaced TCA's because of the adverse effects. And later in, the, uh, in this lecture, we will discuss the adverse effect caused by TCA's, okay? So amoxapine also blocks 5-HE2 and dopamine 2 receptors. Uh, now, first of all, let's discuss the uses of um, uh, these uh, TCAs, okay? So the first use is, obviously, it is used to treat major depression, right? Then it elevates mood and improves mental alert alertness of a depressed person. Mind you, it will not produce these effects in a normal individual who does not have depression. Then is uh, phobic and panic anxiety states these, these medicines are given. Uh, doxepine is given to treat insomnia. Uh, then is OCD, we, uh, uh, OCD can be uh, treated by TCS. Then we have migraine and neuropathic pain. Uh, which is treated by amitriptyline. Then we have uh, aneurysis. And aneurysis is actually bedwetting, right? Uh, that you just can't control. 
because of the sphincter muscles, right? So you give imipramine to these patients so to control bedwetting in children who are older than age of six, okay? By causing contraction of internal sphincter of the bladder, used consciously because of the inductment of cardiac arrhythmias and other serious cardiovascular problems. Now, side effects include muscarinic and alpha uh, blockage. Slow withdrawal is necessary as this drug rarely causes physical, okay, although it's rare, okay, dependence, okay, but though it's there, that is why we will ensure that the withdrawal is done in a very slow manner, right? Okay, now when we talk about pharmacokinetic effects, so it is well absorbed orally due to their lipophilic nature. And as they are lipophilic, obviously they would penetrate into CNS, right? And they would be distributed well. And when they would be distributed well, then it means that uh, it depends on how much of the fat content is there in the body, right? Uh, and how much of the drug is being there um, in the body, right? So that is why variable half-lives are there. So you see imipramine has a half-life of four to 17 hours, imagine, okay? That much variable it is. So as a result of their variable first-pass metabolism in the liver, TCS have low and inconsistent bioavailabilities. Patients respond on plasma levels to be used to adjust dose. The initial treatment period is typically four to eight weeks. The dosage can be gradually reduced to improve tol uh, tol tolerability and uh, unless relapse occurs. So these drugs are metabolized by the hepatic micro microsomal system and conjugated with glucuronide acid. Ultimately, the TCAs are excreted as inactive metabolites via the kidney. So when we talk about toxicity, extreme level toxicity is coma, conversion, and cardiotoxicity. This is what you need to remember, right? Uh, now we'll talk about the toxicity a bit in more detail. Uh, that is under the category of side effects. So when we talk about that, you see we have alpha adrenergic blockage effects, right? So these are orthostatic hypertension, sedation, and drowsiness. And when we talk about sedation, so sedation may be prominent, especially during the first several weeks of treatment, and is related to the ability of these drugs to block H1 receptors. Guys, here I want to tell you all one thing, which I said it again uh, before, and I'm telling you all again, that is all of the antidepressant drugs, all of them, you take them and it will start to produce suicidal thoughts, especially during the first few weeks, okay? So this is a common side effect of all of the antidepressants, okay? All right. Uh, then we talk about the muscarinic blockage effects. So you see xerostomy, which is the dry mouth, okay? We have blurred vision, constipation, urinary retention, tachyarrhythmias, arrhythmias, aggravation of narrow angle glaucoma. These are all we have already studied uh, that these are the muscarinic blockage effects, right? Okay, so, uh, and weight gain is an adverse effect of TCA in general, right? Then sexual dysfunction as evidenced by erectile dysfunction in men and um, anorgasmia in women occurs in a significant minority of patients, but the incidence is still considered to be lower than the incidence of sexual dysfunction associated with SSRIs, right? Okay. Now we'll talk about drug interaction. Uh, it is very much important that uh, you take care of this, okay? All right, so hypersensitive crisis with uh, monoamine oxidase inhibitor. When I will teach you monoamine oxidase inhibitor, I will talk in more detail about it, okay? So serotonin syndrome with SSRIs, monoamine oxidase inhibitor and um, peridine prevent antihypertensive action of alpha to agonist, right? So you see, if you take a tricyclic antidepressant with ethanol or other CNS depressant, so there would be a toxic sedation, comma, right? And then indirect, if you're taking it with indirect acting adrenergic drugs, 
so there would be blockage blockage effects of indirect acting sympathomimetic drugs by preventing the drugs from reaching their intracellular sites of action if you're taking it with monoamine oxidase inhibitor so there would be mutual enhancement hypertension by mutual enhancement means that uh, both of these would produce the same effect right so uh, hypertension hyperpyrexia convulsion coma and then uh, when we have direct acting if you mix up tca with a direct acting adrenergic drug so there would be potential uh, potentiate effects of biogenic amine drugs by preventing their normal by preventing their removal from the synaptic cleft okay now the precaution that you need to take whenever you're taking tca use with patient uh, use with caution in patients with bipolar disorder even during their depressed state because antidepressants may cause switch to manic behavior in bipolar disorder if you remember we talked about that bipolar disorder is this that uh, there is a phase of happiness intense happiness which is mania and then all of a sudden a person goes into depressed state and we uh, we also talked about it that a depressed state comes a bit later and the manic state is there before that right okay then we have tcas have a nor narrow therapeutic index okay so you need to take care of the dosage for example 5 to 6 fold the maximal daily dose of amiprene may be lethal okay so depressed patients who are suicidal should be given only limited quantities of these drugs and should be monitored closely i say all of the antidepressants that you administer to the depressed patients give them but uh do monitor their suicidal thoughts and everything because this is one of the most common uh, uh even that can occur to all of the patients who are receiving the antidepressants now there would be drug interactions we we have already talked about um then the tcs may exacerbate uh, certain medical conditions such as unstable angina benign prost uh, prostatic hyperplasia epilepsy and pre existing arrhythmia should be you uh, caution should be exercised with their use in very young or very old patients as well right thank you so much everybody wait